Shaq's house. 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 Shaq's <laughs> What's up, Shaq Housers? How y'all doing? It's your boy Shaq House here. Happy holidays, you guys. Hope your holidays are doing good, and I hope you're staying warm. For once, the weather's acting like how it's supposed to this time of the year. Yeah, hopefully it remains like a method actor and stays in character. I like the cold, but then again, I was born in the cold, so that helps. <laughs> but even so, I like to stay warm, too, and I hope you stay the same. This being the final video I'm going to do for 2022, what we're going to talk about today, like I told you in the last video, Dazzler. But not just her. We're talking about we're going to talk about DJ and Rhapsody. Who are they? I'm pretty sure you guys know who the Dazzler is. I mean, she was introduced back during the Dark Phoenix saga of the X-Men books. She's a disco singing mutant turned Herald of Galactus, turned superhero, X-Man, mother of Shatterstar, long story. And currently she's on Krakoa in the Exterminators book. Who's DJ? DJ was one of the students introduced in the mid 2000s when they wanted to reintroduce the new X-Men title along with the school concept. He, we never saw him use his powers on panel, but then he gets depowered and blown up with a bunch of other depowered mutants. And currently he's on Krakoa as, you guessed it, a DJ. And we finally get to see him use his powers. Rhapsody, a pure Peter David creation but found new life on Krakoa as well, too. So take a look, and I think this right here pretty much sums up what we're going to be looking at today in terms of their powers. If I hear the music, I'm going to dance. Rhapsody. Rachel Argosy was a high school music teacher who suffered from childhood meningitis, which delayed the manifestation of her mutant genes until her adulthood. Now possessing a blue skin complexion, she also possesses the mutant ability to manipulate continuing and rhythmic sonic waves, particularly those of music and melodies, for a variety of effects. It's unclear whether the effects created by her power are formed directly from sonic energy, or if she simply uses sound as a conduit for psychic abilities. But in either case, any musical instrument, from a violin to a piano to even a harmonica, can produce a proper focus for her power. The simplest of her abilities is levitation. Using musical sounds as a slight propellant, she can float on air and engage in directed motion hovering. She can also lift other people and objects off the ground with her power. She can also focus music into bands of solidified energy, physically ensnaring and striking an opponent. These bands, they look like musical notes gathered together in tightly compacted strands, however. Her power also has hypnotic qualities. Naturally, suscept naturally susceptible people may fall into a trance-like state whenever Rhapsody is using her powers, simply as a side effect of her melodies, but she can also consciously induce trances in anyone. She can make people experience altered reality, calling forth images of joy or happiness, such as a loved one or a comforting location. A moderate rapture state can leave people blissful, unaware and uninterested in reality as long as she's playing music, but a more severe rapture can overload someone's system, making their heart give out and killing them. Rhapsody can also mentally project herself into the fantasies created by her power, interacting with the entranced people however she chooses. It was suggested, but not confirmed, that Rhapsody has some minor level of influence over people even after they broke out of their trances. And finally, Rhapsody claimed that people would die, well that she would die without music, but whether this was a unique physiological need, a psychological dependency, or an indication of mental stability remains unclear. DJ DJ's mutant ability is energy manipulation coupled with sonic dependency. He can only access his power while listening to music, and even then, could only access one effect for any particular genre of music. It's unknown why his power operates in this fashion, whether it's a purely psychological mechanism for focusing his power, or if he actually requires the sonic waves of music as a conduit for his energy signatures. The various tempos and patterns of music alter the release of his power to different wavelengths and effects, so different styles of music allow him to create different effects. 
Among the effects that he could possess were concussive force blasts while listening to hard rock, protective force fields while listening to classical music, blinding releases of light or a mass hypnosis effect when listening to dance or house music. The Dazzler. The Dazzler's mutant power is the ability to absorb ambient sonic vibrations from any source into her body and convert them into a cascading release of photons, which takes the shape of various forms of light wave emissions. She can consciously control the frequency, that's color, amplitude, that's direction, the duration, and the intensity of the light that she produces. Originally, she required a constant source of sonic waves to, re to use her powers, transforming sound directly into light. However, after attempting to process the close quarters roaring of a jumbo jet engine, the Dazzler's metabolism was altered so that she could store up sound within her body to be converted into light effects at a later time. She can produce light from her entire body or parts of it in various colors, pulsations, and levels of intensity, from a mild glow to a blinding glare. Manipulating the way her light pulsates can render people unconscious, disrupt their sense of equilibrium, or even send them into a temporary comatose state as their minds simply shut down from the overdose of sensory information. The Dazzler can also use hypnotic patterns of light to alter emotional states, projecting a calm serenity into a crowd or driving them into a raging frenzy. For offensive purposes, she is capable of firing high-impact photon packets or focused laser beams capable of cutting through steel. She can generate force fields of laser light energy which will either deflect projectiles or atomize anything that they come into contact with. By concentrating, the Dazzler is able to form realistic holographic projections out of her light and animate them to move according to her will. On extremely rare occasions, she has been able to fly through a form of directed thrust. She can also produce a light fog into her environment which acts as an opaque screen, preventing anyone from seeing through it except for her. More recently, she's also demonstrated the power to create hard light fields, shaping solid constructs like staffs, blades, or shields. She also possesses a natural resistance to, to the adverse effects of intense light and sound, and so she cannot be blinded or deafened by any level of glare or volume. On one occasion, the Dazzler demonstrated the ability to rechannel sound waves without converting them into light first, creating a sonic blast outright. Inexplicably, the Dazzler has also begun demonstrating the capacity for self-resurrection. She has died several times in the recent past, yet her body has fully restored itself to life within a matter of hours each time. And also, curiously enough, the Dazzler cannot use the sound of her own unamplified voice, whether it's amplified or not, to create light. Each one of these mutants are on Krakoa, and their powers pertain to converting sonic energy, and music is the center of each character. One's a talented and famous singer, one's a high school music teacher slash violinist, and the run of the litter is a disc jockey who presumably has encyclopedic knowledge of music. Never mind the fact that Dazzlers absorb the roar of Black Bolt himself, think of what these three mutants would do together. Dazzler, her power works with any sound, no matter the source. But DJ and Rhapsody, they have powers that are music-based. Rhapsody apparently absorbs sonic energy from musical sources to give herself what basically amounts to mild telepathy and mild telekinesis. DJ also apparently does the same, but he can manifest a different power for each genre he's listening to. I can see how Rachel would manipulate Dazzler's music, but what, would, what power would DJ get from the Lightingale's music herself? Telepathy? Strobe light projection? Who knows? Also, do, G do DJ's powers work with subgenres of music as well? I mean, take hip hop, which has many subgenres East Coast, West Coast, Down South, gangster rap, conscious rap, backpacker rap, nerd rap, and so forth. Would DJ become super strong or develop aggressive animal morphing powers when listening to NWA? Would he develop Reed Richards like intelligence when listening to Common or Most Deaf? Or what about opera? Could he get shape-shifting or vocal manipulation powers? Can his power work with live music, or does it have to be something that's already been pre-recorded? Who knows? I mean, his powers are as varied as his Spotify playlist. He may go beyond that to Omega-level energy manipulation, where some writer to take their head out of their ass and actually develop his power a lot more. I can see so much potential with DJ. 
Both him and Rhapsody, they're limited because they need music as a focus for their powers. Take that away, and they can't do anything. It makes me wonder if something rudimentary, like a kid banging on a trash can rhythmically in the street, would be a source of power for them. But Dazzler? She just needs sound. And that's plentiful. As long as she has that, she'll always light up a room in a literal sense. Though sometimes, as you can see right here, she can go overboard with it and it's very sad and very dangerous. So of the three of them, Dazzler, she gets the win. All right, Shackhousers, that's what I got for you this week. All I'm going to say to you right now is, Merry Christmas. Later. Mansion, apartment. Shack house. Yes! <laughs>